Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm a software engineer for the technical marketing and community team here at Hortonworks. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to deploy the Hortonworks Data Platform Sandbox using VirtualBox on macOS. Further reading can be found in the description below. To download the Hortonworks Data Platform Sandbox, open up your browser and go to hortonworks.com slash downloads slash pound sandbox. From here, go to Hornworks Sandbox, Sandbox on ABM, and make sure that you're looking at the HTTP 3.01 Sandbox. Then you go ahead and select VirtualBox. This will download the OBA file. Make sure to save it in your downloads folder. This will take a few minutes. Once the OBA file has been downloaded, we go to our VirtualBox environment. I uh, just want to point out that the VirtualBox environment that I have is version 5.2.22. In order for us to be to import the OBA file, we go to File, Import Appliance. Here we go to our Downloads folder, click on the OBA file, which is da finished downloading, and then we select Open. We go ahead and continue. We make sure that we have enough RAM for our new sandbox, and then we go ahead and click Import. This will take a few minutes. Once you finish importing your sandbox, you'll be able to see Hortonworks Sandbox HTTP 3.0. Then we go ahead and we start the sandbox by clicking on it. At this point, the sandbox is being extracted and being deployed. This process will take a few minutes, so you can go ahead and grab a drink. Also, while you're waiting, you can read up on our interesting data articles at https community.hortonworks.com. Once the sandbox has been fully downloaded and deployed, you'll get the sandbox welcome page. Here, you'll notice that for VirtualBox, the welcome screen port is 1080, and to SSH into the sandbox, the port is 4200. Now, we open up a browser again, and we go to port 1080. Here, you can explore more of the HTTP sandbox by clicking on Launch Dashboard, and you will get two pages. One with port 1080, which shows you the Ambari UI, and the other one will show you the Hortonworks tutorials, which I highly recommend that you go through getting started with HTTP. Additionally, you get the quick links, which gives you quick links to some of the services in the HTTP sandbox. Also, there is a get help button. Here, you'll be able to ask questions through the Hortonworks community. And also, you can search for questions that have already been posted. Thank you, and we will have more videos coming soon.